What's the one saying? It's your boy, someone exposed back again. Sorry, my voice is gone. I was out last night. I'm trying to survive today. I'm here at Chateau Lial, right in the center of Paris. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the inspiration to the Crossrail, the Elizabeth Line in London, Le RER, the RER, the Regional Express Train here in Paris. And you're going to be joining me. Let's go. Let's go. If you are no stranger to London, you'll have ridden on the newest railway line in the city, the Elizabeth Line, which opened in 2022. To us Londoners, the concept of a frequent heavy rail metro style railway line that cuts through the centre of the city is quite a foreign one to be fair. Well, we do have Thames Link to a certain extent, right? These services amalgamate different branches of the railway into a central core section which provides a high frequency service on a big boy railway line. Many cities across the world also have this in-between type of network that shuttles commuters and suburbanites in and out of their respective cities. But there is one system that has heavily inspired the Elizabeth Line, Thameslink and many other suburban rail networks the most. And it's this, the Réseau Express Régional, Paris's RER. The RER is the middle child of the Parisian rail network in between the Paris Metro and the SNCF Transilien suburban network. Operated by both RATP, the Parisian transport people, and the SNCF, the national folk. Its services have less stops through the core of Paris, with stations being spaced much further apart than the Metro, travelling further out of the city, whilst the big boy Transilien services have stops even further apart with them running into like the depths of the countryside and whatnot. 1.4 billion journeys were made across the five lines in the year 2019, so it's safe to say that it is a vital piece of infrastructure for the Ile de France. The RERA is the oldest and busiest of the five lines. Around 300 million journeys are made on the line each year. First beginning operation in 1969 as the 17.5km regional metro, it had a single line between Boissy saint léger in the southeast and Nation on the eastern end of Paris. And now the line has grown to a length of nearly 110 kilometers, serving 46 stations, linking Sergi, Poissy, and Saint Germain en Laye, the birthplace of the Boussy, check out my video here, to the west, with Boissy and Marne la Vallée for Disneyland Paris to the east. The A was formed by linking the lines out west into Saint Lazare with the line into the former Gare de Bastille and a new branch was created out to Disney with a tunnel through Paris with stops at La Défense, Charles de Gaulle Etoile, Aubert, Châtelet Léal, Gare de Lyon and Nation. You can easily find relics of the old line de Vincennes which operated into the former Bastille station which closed in 1969 which is now the site of the Opéra Bastille. Take a five minute stroll down this road along the Opera and you will find the entrance to this. The Coulée Verte René Dumont. The elevated linear park that is formed by the former railway line heading into Bastille that the RERA replaced. It's a marvellous walk that runs about three miles down the way into Vincennes on the edge of Paris. On a sunny day, I could imagine it being a hot spot for a cheeky 5k or a saucy coffee day. Following the RERA's inauguration, RERB came in 1977, linking a selection of new and old lines out north to Charles de Gaulle Airport and Mitri Clay, with Robinson and saint rémy le chevreuse to the south. The B links Paris with the Stade de France and both of the city's main airports, Orly via shuttle and Charles de Gaulle. 
through Paris, the B shares the same tunnels between Gare du Nord and châtelet Lial with the RERD, then heads down to Saint-Michel-Notre-Dame and then out south away from town. The RERC is the longest line out of the bunch, beginning operation in 1979. Literally being a mishmash of lines running in between the suburbs of the city and it has a whole bunch of termini. It's noted for being the train that you get to Versailles. And it runs through Paris along the River Seine, right below ground level in a tunnel formerly part of the Paris to Orléans railway and the Western railway, which was converted for use for the current trains. RERD is probably the most controversial, the most hated line beginning operation in 1987. Sometimes you do feel like you need a shower after experiencing this line, I can't lie. The line reaches out to the nether regions of the Parisian suburbs up to Cray in the north and Melun and Malesherbe to the south. Cray and Malesherbe are so far out that they're not even in a zone. You can't even use your little Navigo type thing, it's, it's crazy. It's also the most unpunctual RER line, partially impacted by the fact that sharing a tunnel with RERB can literally mess up a whole service in one go if there's a delay somewhere down the line. And finally, the E, it's the newest line. Opened in 1999, it heads out east to Tournon and Chergonnet from a new tunnel heading into Magenta, which is linked to Gare du Nord, and Haussmont Saint-Lazare. I'd say it's the best line, you know. It has the best trains, the best stations. And it's also being extended out west to Port Maillot and La Défense. And I think it's due to open just before the 2024 Olympics, but we'll see. The E has also begun operating the new R-E-R-N-G trains, new generation, which from what I see are absolute machines. However, I never got the chance to see one of those, um, yeah, pain, real pain. I'll say that one similarity between the Lizzie line and the RER is the future proofing implemented into the infrastructure. Even though these lines were open back in the 70s, the 80s, they feature long, wide, expansive platforms, especially on the RERA, which are then in future capable to handle longer trains, more passengers, and increase the service overall. Another thing is the sheer level of integration these services have with other transport modes. Just look at Châtelet Lial, the largest interchange in Europe, or the mess that is Saint Lazare. The RER has allowed for a multitude of interchange options, allowing for many more journey possibilities being opened up. These stations have become such mazes that there's been people out on YouTube trying to film the longest interchange as possible. The Elizabeth line has that to a certain extent, where multiple exits allow you to interchange between multiple stations. Look at Liverpool Street with Moorgate and Farringdon with Barbican. The one main difference though between the RER and Thames Lincoln Crossrail is that Bing, most RER trains are double-decker, meaning they can carry much more people compared to the trains in Britain. Trains on the continent make use of a more generous loading gauge, wider trains and just infrastructure that allows for taller trains to pass. Another thing, another difference that might be a drawback in the Parisian system is that the ticketing system is not as streamlined as London's check out my video here where I discuss it. In London, you're able to tap on and tap off as you like using your contactless, credit, debit card or Oyster card. On the Lizzie line, the tube, the national rail, the trams, the buses, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you can easily track your travel costs through daily caps and yeah, everything's just all in one place. That's unlike Paris and the RER though, because if you don't have a Navigo pass with the right day ticket or right subscription or whatever, whatever, if you want to head out into the suburbs, 
I don't know, some of you guys might like a bit of adventure. It's a bit annoying because you're going to have to buy a separate paper ticket. You can't just put everything all into one ticket or pass as such, unless you have a day ticket, monthly ticket, yearly ticket, if you get what I mean. It's a bit annoying, especially when you have to wait behind a humongous number of tourists at Gare du Nord, you know, when you're just trying to, I don't know, head to Sevran for a nice day out or head to Disneyland. Travel within Paris is fine though, it's all the same price as a metro ticket. I like the Aria and the Elizabeth Line and hopefully the Crossrail 2, tell the government to spend some money, fills in that missing middle that you get in Paris. Remember, the Lizzie Line is not a tube line. See, when I used to travel on the Aria, even before the Olympics was coming to town, I knew something was wrong when the stations didn't smell of piss and didn't have someone's duty on the escalators. It's the charm of Paris. For any British person, to be fair, any sight of double-decker trains amazes us, even if they might take you to uh, the scary, mystical, frighteningly dangerous landmark that is Disneyland Paris. So you find me here at a rainy Gare de Versailles, Châteauroux Gauche. Versailles is around the corner, about a 10 minute walk away. I'm gonna head in, gonna do some touristy stuff. I hope that you like looking around the inspiration to the Elizabeth Line to cross out the RER, the Regional Express trains here in Paris. If you like the video, make sure you drop a subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. We've got a hell of content coming out soon. Thanks for supporting the channel. Big up everyone, big up the patrons as well, and big up everyone donating on Kofi. Long outro, whatever. See you in the next one. See you in a bit.